on the introductory maiden voyage of Sarah Sips. Because I'm Sarah and I'm going to sip. We are going to try some mead. <laughs> I immediately regret that. Mead. This one is from Moonlight Meadery. And I actually, P.S. Nobody's sponsoring this or paying me to review these things. I just want to because I like to drink. And this gives me a good reason to alone in my room. Mmm, painting the unflattering images. But anyway, Moonlight Meadery. It's in New Hampshire. And I actually went and visited and got a tour and a tasting sampler. I didn't drink it from the bottle like that though. They make you use cups. I put this in the fridge, so it's kind of cold. And this one is sensual. Ooh, look at it. Mm. Other than standard honey wine. I don't know what that means. Other than standard. But it's 15.3% alcohol by volume. So let's crack this open. This is the beautiful wine bottle opener or corkscrew that I keep in my purse. <laughs> What? There's a little bee, a honey, you can't. There's a honey bee on it. YouTube, do you know that mead is wine made from honey? Imagine that. Okay, get it in there. That's what she said. Why did I get a jointed one? I don't know, I regret it. What is the point? This is how you pour it, officially. Unofficially, officially. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, let's sniff it. Mmm, it smells Swedish. <laughs> it's from New Hampshire. <laughs> they have a big Swedish population. <laughs> it's a lovely color. I don't know. I don't think they have legs. Let's see what all the buzz is about. Right. That was violent. Bottoms up or the rest in your hair? Clink. You're welcome. Bottoms wasn't up. Not putting in my hair though. Suck on it, Danish. People, because that's the Danish. Cheers. I don't know it in Danish. I can't get my mouth around Danish. Unless it's pastry. <laughs> oh, it tastes good. Honey, I need you. I need you every day of my life. Romance by the glass. That's actually their slogan, so. I didn't come up with that. Glass too. Oh, that's so good. It gets better with every sip. Not that it was in a bad place to begin with. It was in a really good place. And now I am in a really good place. You can tell because I'm starting to sing all my words. Like I'm in a musical. Les Miserables. Oh, I can't stop pointing at you. I like if you want a good one, mojito. Their mojito one, super awesome good. The best way to drink this, chilled on a hot summer night. And since it's almost summer, it's like practice summer, I thought it'd be, I should start practicing for summer. Also great for Game of Thrones parties. Get these, this, get a mead, chill it. Oh girl, you got skills. And then you can drink it while you're watching Game of Thrones, throw on some furs, and it'll be like you're in it. I'd make a great brunette Cersei. See? That was my Cersei impression. Also, don't forget your sword. Now I'm ready. So I definitely recommend this. I love Moonlight Meadery. You can go to their website, www.moonlightmeadery.com, and find out where it's sold, or go for the thing, the visit and the tour, the tour and the tasting. You won't be sorry. And it's not too sweet, because I don't like really sweet dessert wines. I'm not too nasty. But these are really good. It's very pleasing. Worth it. Try it. See if you like it. I bet you do. If you don't, you can't have your money back, because you didn't pay me for it, so I'm not going to do that. Cheers! I made that one. It's so nice. So, if anybody has a great suggestion for what to call my monthly drinking 
review other than Sarah Sips, which isn't bad, but it's just, you know, you know, if you have suggestions, throw them out there. Or if you have any other ideas of things that I can talk about, holla at me. Hit me up. Comments. There's somewhere. Or subscribe. Or like. Or be my friend. Mm -hmm. And we will be friends until the end. Or, you know, the end of this video, which is now.